Hey, it's around here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna share with you how to adjust the font size and type of font as well in System I.O. And there's a couple of things you need to know. First of all, you can actually set up by default the font that you want right here on the left. You see, you don't click on the settings and then you will see default typography. That means that this text or this text is by default going to be whatever it says right here. And then you've got the heading typography, which is basically anything that says, you see here, it says text. This one says text, this one says text, this one says text. But if I was to drag a headline text, you see this is different, then on the settings right here, this is what it refers to. So you'll notice that if I change this, for example, to something else, and I'm gonna choose Google Fonts for the sake of demonstration, and I'm gonna make this one Roboto Condensed. You will notice that this headline will automatically become Roboto Condensed, automatically. Okay, so I'm gonna click on it, and here it is, automatically changes. Now, if I was to change the default font right here as well to something else like Oswald, let's say, you will see that this changes automatically as well. Now, you would notice that this one, for example, didn't change, so you might be wondering, well, why didn't it change? So you click right here, and you'll notice that the font type is, the, is specifically Poppins, extra bold, for this specific headline. That's why it didn't change. If you want everything to be exactly the same and consistent, instead of Google Fonts, you will choose same font as the page, which is Oswald. Now, the same font as the page means that whatever font you set up here for the normal text and the heading text is going to be identical across the board. But if you want to sometimes customize things specifically how you want it, you would choose something different. In this case, I'm gonna go with Poppins because that's my brand. And again, I'm gonna do Poppins as well uh, for this one too. And you'll see that this one changed at the same time. Now this one, because I want it to be very big, I want to make it very clear that like this is free, then I made it extra bold, uh, 800 and italicized. And what I did is I chose the Google fonts. Now you can also upload a font if you, so, if you want to do that. You will click right here and you will then upload the actual font. I don't have any fonts to upload, so I'm not gonna do that. This is specifically applicable if you're buying fonts online, which are paid fonts as an example. But typically Google fonts actually has a lot of different fonts. Like there's literally hundreds of fonts. I think there's 900 fonts here. And also not only that, you can actually choose the font style. If you want it to be regular, medium, semi-bold, italicized, each one is different. Now you also have this one with safe fonts. If you click on that, then you'll have, you've got the different options. So you can change that and you can do this as well. Again, it's totally up to you depending what your fonts are. I usually use Poppins because that's my brand fonts. So let me find it, Poppins, and there you go, okay? Now in my case, I also do extra bold italicize. That's just me, but you could do it however you want it. Next part is also letter spacing. So if you want to have certain spacing between the, the letters, for example, like with the word free, that's actually kind of neat to have it this way as well. You can do that. If you were to do that, for example, on normal text like that, and you were to move it over, it might not look so good. But again, totally up to you how you want it. Um, in terms of the uh, font like here, you have uh, pretty much the font size. And another thing, which is the line height. Now the line height that refers to the spacing between the two sen sentences right here. So if I was to do the line height like that, it will be way bigger. Typically, the way I want it is to be just a little bit more than what the font size. So you see, if I was to do this 30 as an example, then it will be very close to each other. That's why I personally like to give it a bit of space. And you could, you could just move it this way. And I like to do even numbers. It doesn't really have to be, but it just makes my life a bit easier that way. Again, the spacing, you can change that as well if you want. But this is totally up to a style of how you want your content to look. It's good for headlines. As a general text, I don't really use that. So that's about it on how to do the fonts. So really the first step for you, uh, when you're just starting with a page, to recap, you wanna go to settings and you wanna choose the font that you want for the text. And then you wanna change your font for the headlines. And then once you uh, move the text over, uh, then you can customize if you want it to be the same thing consistently and you would choose this, or you would customize and choose your own font depending on the specific individual section. So that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. If you're watching this video on YouTube, uh, please go ahead and subscribe if this is your first time here. I record a lot of tutorials on System IO. You're welcome to leave a comment with any questions you have so I can continue to add more content and helpful tutorials on System IO. 
So that's the system and your fonts tutorial. Hope you got value and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. I really appreciate it. So if you have not used system or haven't tested it out, you can actually create a free account. You're missing out big time. It is a great software. And all you gotta do is go to aranbukai.com forward slash SIO. That will take you to the system page. You enter your email, you create a free account, take it to a test drive. And when you feel confident, like you're ready to go and this is a good tool, the pricing is simply 27 a month, or you can also get 197 a year, which is pricing is not available on their website, but I have a special link for that if you wanna take advantage of it. It's actually 10 times cheaper than the bigger competitors and so on, and it's a really good plan. So if you wanna check it out, uh, go to rambukai.com forward slash SIO, and let me know once you had a bit of a look around. Uh, that's about it. If you have any other questions or tutorials that you'd like me to make on System.io, definitely let me know. Leave a comment below. I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, that's about it. Thanks. I'll speak to you soon.